Praise God. Happy to share with you another verse from the Bible. This is from Haggai chapter 2 verse 4. And now be strong, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong, Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. Now, look at that. Look at that instruction from the Lord to his people. Be strong. So he says that twice in this verse, be strong. And again says, be strong another time, the third time also. So that word, be strong, is emphasized. Now as, as I was reading through this verse, I just remembered so many times it has been written in the Bible, also to Joshua, Moses' time. You can find that in, in, in Exodus and in, again in, in Joshua as well. So, be strong and of good courage. So, you find that several times in the Bible and many, many places. I was wondering, what is the Lord saying? Be strong, be strong. And also, he had some of good courage. See, I was just wondering where the strength, why is he asking to be strong? Because sometimes we lose our strength and we become weak. That's where the whole problem is coming from. So, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So, here you find when you're not strong, be strong in the Lord. So you find your strength in the Lord. You find your power in His might. That's where you find, my dear children. Now, as I was just going through these 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 words, I re just remembered an incident of the Bible and another incident which was contrary to that. Now, the first one, well, you, you can you can read that in one Samuel chapter thirty. Now it talks about David. So David is just going on to his camp. He's returning back back to his camp, and he and he's astonished and stunned to find what the Amalekites had done. His wives and children, all of them, were captured by the Amalekites. What a what a horrible sight! What a what a sight it was! And the whole camp was burned. Everything was destroyed, and. They were captured. The people who lived there were captured. Now oh, it was a, it was a, a very horrible sight, which was unbearable, you know, and 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 it, and David and his people were shocked to see that. And when they, they began to in verse four you read that David and the people who were with him, raised their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep. Look at that, no more strength. You know, so why this verse is so important. There are times when we lose our strength. Our, tr our strength fails us many times. It could be a physical one. It could be a mental one. So whatever it might be, you're broken. And your strength has already failed you. In such circumstances, what do we do? You know, adding on to that, you also find their own people who were with David at that time, they revolted and they began to talk of killing David. So adding on to that woe. So all this is forcing you to lose hope in you, to lose faith in yourself and to act foolishly, to act on your own strength, take your own decision at spontaneously at that very moment. Do something foolishly. That's what the devil would always try to push you into, my dear children. So be careful of that. So David did something better than that. And you know what happened. So there, there are two chapters before that. That's 1 Samuel 28. When you read about Saul, a similar situation happens. The same Amalekites are there. And Saul feared the army of the Amalekites who were 
great number at that time and he knew they were just ready to destroy they were ready to fight against Israelites and definitely Saul knew that they would lose the battle and Israel Israel would lose the battle and you know what happened here you can you can also find that Saul did the forbidden thing what was forbidden he did that you know what he did at that moment the same kind of thing he lost his strength he was so afraid same like David but then a hasty decision follows that so that is the trick which the devil does and he consults on which to find out what to do next look at he instead of running to your law to running to his to his self to running to his to him running towards the God of Israel he ran towards the witch what has he done my dear children many a times the people of the Lord when they lose their strength they don't know what to do and they lose their mental balance the spiritual balance and they do something which they're not supposed to do but David did the right thing in 1 Samuel chapter 30 in the sixth verse I read this David strengthened himself in the law and you know that's the important thing strengthen himself and the Lord my dear children that was what the word in in in, in Ephesians 6 10 told you at, at which I read that so finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind that's what David did exactly and that's what he did he ran to the Lord so he, he, it was the weakest time there at that moment and he was unable to find unable to resist unable to do anything people are revolting against him everything against him he did not lose hope his only strong only strength and only strong point was running towards the rock of salvation so that's where he went and I like to read you another passage that's from Colossians 2 15 and having disarmed the powers and authorities he made public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross triumphing over them so our Lord has already fought and he's already won the battle for you You need to stand in faith and claim it so be strong and of good courage that's what the Lord is saying so he's with you he is fighting for you and he's done everything for you so what are you waiting for why are you not not strong even when you're weak put your strength on the Lord count on him so he's going to fight the battle for you that's what he did my dear children so God did fight for him and he brought back everything so he took back everything that's what we read so my dear children, if in your life you have a situation coming your way or it's, it's already there in your life, you feel that you're so weak, you're not able to do that, you're not able to, to go over it, you're not able to conquer it, don't worry about that. The Lord is with you. Count on His strength, not on your own. Don't take any hasty decision. Turn to Him. Turn towards Him. For He does everything. He fights it for you for he already has won it for you in the cross so how much more assurance you need for he has done everything he's given his own life what more you need what more you need my dear children God has done it for you count on his strength don't count on us even when you're weak so be strong in him God will give you the strength and guide you and give you the victory let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank and praise you for this wondrous day, Lord. You fight for us. You've already done it and you have fought the battle for us. And the victory is already ours. We claim it in Jesus' name. Lord, we have the faith in you. So we count it on you. It's not by us. It's not by our strength, but by yours that we will do everything in your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.